Now we're going to explore network paths in Houdini. These paths um, define the structure of your Houdini scene, uh, which often have sort of nodes within nodes in sort of a directory structure. So if we look at the geometry node here um, at the object level, we can go down by pressing N to go into that object uh, and now we are at a different level. And you look up above in this path, you see object slash uh, soccer ball underscore geo. And we can go up again to go back up. This is what we mean by the network path. And there can be multiple levels deep of these paths, or they can be in different locations. So you can go I to go in, U to go up. That's another way of navigating those. You can also go to a completely different one. So we can go to what's called LOPS or slash stage. Uh, and there we have a network for setting up a, a shot or, or an image. We can then go back to the object level. We're using the N key there in the network to do that navigation. Now, we can also navigate by how we select things. So if we go into the geometry mode and say we want to select geometry, like faces, uh, edges, or points, um, it goes from the object level to the geometry level because that's, um, that's what we chose. That's the level that we wanted to work. So selecting it can make a difference. You can also use this uh, path to go back up to the object level or to dive back in. So the path itself can be used as a navigation tool. Now, if we expand out to see the tree view, uh, which there's one here as well, but we'll use this one that expands off the side, um, you'll see that we can see all the different levels of this. There's the geometry, um, soccer ball geometry, and all the different nodes within it. And if I click on one of those, I not only navigate into that um, network, but I also have that node selected. So it's easy to find. So some people like to use the tree view as a navigational tool uh, within the different networks um, that you work. And there's the platonic being selected, and now you can find that. You probably could have used um, a hotkey to, to quickly grab that the view of that in the network view. And so now that we have this, we can, what we can do with this pane is we can pin that. And then so we go to the object level here, but the scene view is still at the geometry level. So it's possible to disconnect these things by using the pin tool. If we unlock that, that goes back to the object level. Now if we pin it at the object level, uh, then we can go here and dive down. And sometimes we do this because we want to make changes here and see what the result is to the object level. Um, so we don't need them synced up per se, but then you're going to not get handles and important things. So the other thing you can do is take that target and drag that over to that path. And that's how you can also connect one path to another. So if you had a lot of pinned panes, uh, you can use the target to drag over and reconnect those. So as you can see, the path, um, it's easy to navigate around. We can use that. Just click back up, um, go up, go in, and so on. Uh, and the other thing you can do is set quick marks. So you can say, well, you know what? This is something I want to go back to. Uh, this is something I might want to go back to. So you're pressing Control and then a number. So Control 2 would set that quick, uh, quick mark. And then we can go way over to the Solaris desktop and say, you know what? We focus on those lights. That's the third area I want to uh, really focus on. And then the last thing is down here, I've got my render settings and output ROP. Um, you know what, that'll be my fourth one, control four. So now it's just a matter of going one will take me back there, two will take me back to there, three will take me to the lights, and four will take me to the output. So that's another way of navigating around and working with your node paths, a uh, very important aspect of working with Houdini.